And now, from the people that won't be sat at the uh, family table at the International Podcast Awards, it's this week's Big Brother Bile. I'm Lindsay. This is James. And it's Chimbot on the side. If you're listening for the first time, I want to thank you and welcome you to the show. Why <laughs> are you full of that okay. place? No, because we was like, at, like our listeners all like know us, but there might be new listeners and they might be thinking, what's this all about? How would you describe us in one word? <laughs> um, enigmatic. Oh, that's a good one. So we're going from... The, <laughs> the Is it Mike Boogie filling up the... <laughs> no, we're not even... We're way behind that. It's the veto where it was the Game of Thrones, the medieval style. You like medieval programmes, don't you, James? I love them. I, I, only last night I was watching Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> what, the cartoon or...? No, the, the hit TV show on oh, the sci-fi. The board game. <laughs> I used to like that cartoon. Anyway. Um, so basically, Clay and Shelley were on the block and uh, James put them out there and one of them had to save themselves and they're all dressed up like ladies and wearing cloaks do you find that sort of attire attractive bodices and all that sort of thing well austin does we know yeah <laughs> liz looked quite nice in her outfit actually like a fair maiden did she have the the <laughs> medieval kim kardashian with the back shelf on her bum <laughs> Her bum's not that big, is you it? You know, in Downton Abbey, they have the shelf oh, on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Is that where that and comes from? And they throw, throw a yard of mead over the back of their arse, and that's how you got a magazine <laughs> deal back in um, the 1600s. Who knew? True facts. On the on parchment. <laughs> what parchment? For the magazine, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, God. Dear, oh, dear. What, in Thine Closer magazine? <laughs> that cat just did a weird leap in the air. Oh, dear. Right, anyway, so basically there was like a spinning round thing and they had to like throw a ball or something. Do you I've like seen that? James Bryan do that task before. What, VO, five times VO winner? I think I've got... Uh, John the Dentist. VO for T. Oh, God. Uh, now a cat's come in yowling. Dear, oh, dear. We're definitely not going to be on that table at the Podcast Awards. I oh, know. We won't even... And it's in Las Vegas. We can't afford the flight. <laughs> We're fucked. Um, so then... Oh, it's all where they have... Is it in Las Vegas? Oh, fuck nice. Do we get an invite? We don't need to worry about things like that. Oh, I suppose Is there not. an English podcast awards? Can you imagine how crap that would be? Oh, God. What would all the podcasts be about? Bake Off. Cheese. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> British things. Oh, oh racism. It would, oh, it'd be so lame. Um, like traffic and things you like that. You know when you go on Digital Spy, mm. they always have, when you go on there for the Big Brother, it's always the Josie and John James appreciation <laughs> thread. You know, where you're not allowed to slag anyone off. <laughs> And it's, it's like always a thousand the, pages long. It's the top, always the top thread on Digital Spy. But surely the that? Josie and John James fans must be split now. Like the... Um, no. Uh, no? <laughs> they still want them to get back together. Like the Zane and Perry fans. But we saw Josie Gibson memorialise tonight in Shelley's eviction outfit. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a bit of a spoiler, isn't it? But Do you like tie-dye? <laughs> I love it. Maybe she thought it was still night this week. Any more of that later. Mm. So that it was, they had to like have the prizes. So some of the prizes included the Ireland Castle vacation. Ireland. Would you like, Ireland? Would you like to go to Ireland in a castle? I fucking love it. Have you been to Ireland? You just go to Dublin International, <laughs> pay three groats, <laughs> and you're through. Oh, you're a handsome cunt. <laughs> have you ever been to Ireland? No, I've never been there. What? I've been to Ireland. Any good? It's very nice. All the families have like 10 children and you do hitchhike in there and drink a lot. It's quite good. Uh, I went on a motorbike. So then, um, oh, there was like a knight in shining armour. We have that in our country, but it's a prick in tinfoil, isn't it? Is it? That's in Ireland though, isn't it? Ireland. (laughs) Um, And uh, yeah, there's some other prizes too. Who won that one? Mm. <clears throat> I don't know who got the veto. Oh, I can't remember. I've got it written down there somewhere. Was it James? Uh, yeah, it could have been. Oh dear. Mm, great recap. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Meg and Clay. Meg was trying to get off of Clay. What did you think about that? Dirty player or? I don't know. Was was that just made up? Clay or? was like Meg was drunk on the mead because they were drinking uh, mead during the task. Uh, verily thine. Um, <laughs> He didn't seem to be, like, pushing her away that much. She was, like, touching his face, like, sitting on him. She's going, I don't want to vote you out. 
Has he bought his Bible? Mm. It was not good. And then he was like... Do you think his mum is going to watch that and think, oh... Dirty. And she went, you know how I feel about you? Wait till I get you to New York City. Yeah, but she's offering to take everyone to New York like yeah. they've never been there before. And then Shelley was like, oh, we're going to go stay with Meg in New York City. I thought, careful, Shelley. That's not a good spin-off no. show. That'd be a bit cringe. That's a perfect show, really, isn't it? Yeah. So then... um, um, Uncle. Yeah. Oh, Shelley had to, like... like I don't know, throw a javelin or some shit. Do you remember that? Uh, jousting? I don't know, something. 2,400 times she had to do it. Uh, what the fuck was oh, that? that was crap. Crap. Um, so then... The point of, <laughs> what was the point of it? <laughs> and then uh, Shelley said something to James and he said, are you on narcotics right now? That's a bit rude. Although I think most people in the house are. And then Clay was doing that mumbling thing and he said he didn't know who Judas is, but he reads the Bible, so... He didn't know who Judas was in the Bible. So, no, he's not been reading his Bible. Maybe he's just not read that bit. Maybe he's not got to the end yet. That's like the best bit. Um, so then... Cliff, he obviously hasn't watched um, Big Brother... Is it eight or nine? With Dan Geasley. Yeah, is that the Judas season? I think it's ten. Oh, whichever. <laughs> so then... Um, I don't know about numbers of seasons, but that. So then... Um, uh, Clearly had their veto speech and they were like, oh, we don't deserve to be in this position. They're so fucking entitled and smug, those two. Were you pleased to see them separated at last? No, not really. Because, like, they're the, the ins up that new outs now, aren't they? I know, that's the thing. And then you get confused because then I started feeling sorry for Clay just because he was, like, down on his luck. Anyone who's the underdog, like, I immediately support, no matter who they are. Don't you? Uh... No. Just a little. It's like saying you support Adam Pox because he's crap. Dear God. Bacon. Um, so then, um, James said, now what do you make of this? I've been taught to go through the front door. Back door's just as good, but you only use it if you lose the key. <laughs> Who said that? James in the diary room. Well. James, I think he thinks he's funny in the diary room, but bring back Jason, that's what I you say. He thinks he's a poor man's Peter Brown. Oh, it's that's pushing it now Chembot was wearing some very attractive glasses ah right now I've heard of Google glasses (laughs) what's this about I don't get it because robots don't need glasses it's like in humans when that robot was wearing a bra weird isn't it must be a sponsorship deal it could be it could be that or what's the American version of Specsavers that can't be American that sounds so English I think it's uh, Donald and H's or H's and <laughs> I don't know I that's don't know good what it is. Vision, Vision Express That even that sounds English they've probably got like a real good name like I don't know Glasses <laughs> Mania there you go something like that Mega Glasses mm. um, so then um, Otev's Glass Shack <laughs> so then um um Oh, Shelley and Clay were slacking off from Nessa and she was lying right there, but who really cares? Um, Oh, yeah, and Shelley said, I don't want to campaign, but... And then she started campaigning against Clay. And Clay basically just gave up and said, it's Shelley's dream. Mm. What do you think about that? Would you give up your game for love? Only if I thought I was definitely going to go and Mm. I had no chance. Mm. Mind you, if I thought there was half a chance I might come back, Mm -hmm. I wouldn't... I'd be a bit more cavalier about the whole thing, don't, but, don't you think? But he didn't even make it to jury. That's all they were worried about, like banging in jury, basically. And he didn't even make it to jury. Yeah, but she didn't kiss him for six weeks. I know, and now he's out in the wild with all the rampant ladies. He can't be... He's not brought his Bible. Mm. His mum's not there. He's going to run riot. He wouldn't admit that he loved her after 50 days or whatever it is. 50 Shades of Clay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Um, so then... Oh, yeah, so they had their first kiss after six weeks. Fucking hell. What if it was a crap kiss? Can you imagine? You'd be like, oh, my God. Well, there's people out there going, look, we've got a magazine deal for you. Yeah. And they won't even get off. It's pathetic. It's like, what a waste of time. You could have spent six weeks getting off and you didn't bother. You've got people on BBUK fucking. Yeah. <laughs> well, Amanda and McRae were fucking. Yeah, but you didn't it see it on the... world. On the main... Oh, you did see that. <laughs> so then, um... Oh, yeah. Oh, now... We interrupt this broadcast for a flashback from last year. Two of our favourite players. It's the Hitmen. Mm. It's Derek, who's put on about twenty-five pounds. As he, I couldn't he tell. He did look pretty fat, didn't he? Yeah, I and thought he looked co- fat in the first and place. He's cooking all that 
meat on the grill. Cooking all that meth up. Yeah, and then... <laughs> no, he looked fat. I fancied him a couple of times last year. A but, couple of times? Yeah, but that was when he was like, you know... That being his... said... <laughs> that was when he's doing his hipster disguise. Now, why was Derek there with his mum holding the baby? <laughs> now... Was that Derek's mum? Don't drag me into that remark because that's that's on you. That was Derek's mum, right? Come on. Uh, so, who turned up in the car... Who turned up in the car? Yeah. Who do you think turned up in the car? His best buddy, Cody, and... And Cody's dad. Codifus. Did you enjoy the way that Cody's dad greeted Derek? Well, <laughs> I, I mean, if you're looking to feel awkward in a social situation <laughs> and you want someone that you don't really know, if you want their dad to grab you and lick your face off, then, then yeah. But that being said, it was a bit cringe. I think Cody's dad is just a very demonstrative man, um, particularly towards men. Uh, it doesn't seem to like Cody's mum much. She wasn't even there. There was two, like, strange guys hanging around. I don't know who they were. One had his top off a lot. One was, like, Cody's boyfriend, and one was, like, Cody's dad's boyfriend, basically. Why was Cody <laughs> literally sweating, like, fountains <laughs> out of his armpit, and then goes, oh, I'm really hot, I've got to take my shirt off? I thought like that was a bit, a bit contrived, like you? Just a bit. It's like something out of Home and Away, isn't it? Although, I must admit, not bad when he takes his shirt off. Um, and then, he said he fancied Becky out of all the girls in the house. Why has Cody got such bad taste in women? First Christine, now Becky. What's going on there? Well, um, <laughs> I don't know. And Derek also mentioned Caleb, who I thought was persona non grata around their area. Who knows? Maybe they cut a deal and now he's in the reality show with Caleb and his own father. <laughs> How maybe of, Cody's dad brokered the deal. How maybe ah uh, maybe Derek swapped his own dad for Cody's dad. Dad swap. Cody's dad does seem better. How often do you think Cody and Derek really see each other? Mm, whenever the cameras are there. Do you think that Cody still thinks that Hitman thing was actually a thing? I was wondering <laughs> all the watches that Derek Lavasseur that they were shipping out. Is yeah. He had RSI from wrapping up the watches and sending them out. Mm. Uh, how much money did Cody get from that? Oh, he should really give him the lot because wouldn't you feel embarrassed? Derek, you got... think him and his mum are going to sit there <laughs> wrapping up watches for to put money in Cody's bank? I don't think so. <laughs> Derek got all that Team America money as well and extra money just for making it to the end. He spent it on some money towards the baby's future college education, a hot tub. And 17,000 sausages by the looks of things. Do you know, the irony is, if they paid him a dollar for each time that he said that being said, <laughs> he actually would have made more <laughs> overall. Holla, Derek. Oh, uh, holla, Daddy. I bet you next time we see Derek, he won't be going out with his mum anymore. He'll have be a... going out with Cody's mum. He'll have a new wife. Yeah, Cody's dad. Um, so that was nice to be reminded of those happier times. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, back on the main show... Um, Clay was getting evicted and everyone voted him out. Would you have voted him out just because he wanted to be voted out? It's, it's no, stupid. I'd vote the other way. It doesn't make no sense. And Judy was like, oh, you must really love her. And he was like, whatever. Do you think Clay just had a classic case of Big Brother brain? Mm. Do you think he's watching now thinking, what the fuck did I do? Do you think he get his stip- jury stipend? Oh, no. Why would you, why would you do that? <laughs> Because it's Shelley's dream. Like it was Nick's dream. I mean, I'm all for dreams, but wasn't, come on. Wasn't, That's not right, is wasn't it? wasn't Clay's dream because he just got cast, apparently. Right. So. Okay. Anyway, oh, yeah. And then Julie said to him, have you ever given up in a game like this before? It's a bit mean, isn't it? She's being a bit mean this year. Bit She's like the new Emma Willis, isn't she? She is. And she asked him what was going on with Meg. And then Clay was like, well, she's had her fair share of showmances. Basically, oh, the old she's no wallflower. Yeah, basically threw Meg under the bus and called her a slag in no uncertain terms. Um, so then, oh, Julie told the rest of the house, you're all going to jury, but it doesn't mean you're out of the game. So they're obviously bringing someone back. Mm, yawn. So then the next HOH was uh, the old classic, filling up a bottle with water now hang on I prefer it where I've got a separate bottle like a smaller one (laughs) so people know that I'm really greedy right from the minute (laughs) I start filling that one up the Mike Boogie bottle yeah (laughs) 
Any questions? Do you like watching people fall over and hearing sound effects over the top of it? I do. I have to admit, I do. But 